You gotta, I would like that. You got to earn that kind of respect. You've only I been am here, Mr. Brief. You've only been here three years, so give it some time. There's a four-pitch walk for Harrison Smith as the dogs look to get some juice going. And now Kaz Canella to the dish. You know, Sam, you asked me about the dogs clubhouse and just the attitude and great example Not right there the last dogs. night starting pitcher baseman, who just Kaz mowed down Canella. the railroaders gave up only four hits jordan kipper he's playing bat boy today he's running balls out the empire and he's doing it with a smile and just really really great to see he's not going to get any accolades for that but i think you should be the bat boy mr brief well we'll get a jersey can I wear a uniform? Yeah, sure. Do whatever you want. Okay. Well, maybe I'll come back for the playoff run. Playoffs? Here's a mound visit. Kaz Canella, Brennan Metzger, Michael Kraus are due up. Up here in the booth, Sam Brief, David, David Brief with you. Man, I can't even say your name. You make me so nervous. This kid's grooving. As the dogs look to come back, I'm curious, as someone who watches these games, if you had to distill the identity of this dogs team into a word, what would it be? Confident. Hmm. They play with just an easy confidence in their abilities. Taz Canella, 0-1. That's, I think, true. And it's a quiet confidence. It's not cockiness. There are cocky teams in this league. I, I don't think the dogs are one of them. But that that's a reflection of the top. Oh, and two. Right. When you're led by someone like Butch Hobson, who's confident because he's been there, done that at so many levels, it just rubs off on the team. They act like a team that can do anything. And even being down three runs in the eighth inning, I know there's not a single guy in that dugout who doesn't believe they can win. And they had a great run back in May with a lot of comeback victories. Now, That's a nice breaking pitch. Hitter, Brennan Striking Metzger. out Canella, and now it's Brennan Metzger. Who's your favorite dogs player? Well, I must admit. Other than the broadcaster. Well, you're not a player. Certain affinity for Justin Goose and I'll Brown. Say. Simply because his parents are neighbors of mine out in Sherman Oaks. So it was nice to meet him in person. Obviously, Harry has been a stalwart on the team ever since you joined the Dogs family. So you like the longtime Dogs. Here's a newbie, Brennan Metzger. In a 2-0 count. It's nice to meet, meet the player's parents as well, which I can relate as the parent of a dog. You met Brennan's dad today, Stan Metzger. I did. Felt like Father's Day, all these fathers milling about. It's take your dad to work day. It is. It is. That's what I told KC. And he said every day is take your dad to work day. <laughs> Wild pitch. Harrison Smith at second. So now a runner in scoring position, one out in the eighth. And the good part of the order's up. Got to give a shout out to DJ Cabrera with the, the music, which is just excellent overall. But even the little things like that, playing born to run when steals, or not steals, but gets an extra base there. Good teamwork. DJ the, Cabrera. Yeah, the whole production team is first rate. Right, you've got to see it firsthand this weekend, hanging up in the booth. Everyone down the hall. That's where the magic happens. You know, people come in here in this booth. I I'm just sitting here as the mouthpiece. The brains of the operation, two doors down. Right. Well, that's something that I've learned because when you watch that from I have home, no brains. Well, I've known that for a while, but when you watch from home, <laughs> You wow. see the game and you hear the broadcaster, but what you don't see or hear is the, the team of professionals behind him. And 
They are working hard and operating at an incredibly high level of professionalism, and I think the broadcast would not be nearly as stellar of an experience without them. I know that better than anyone. We got the best crew in the league, and it goes much farther than this league as Metzger walks. Yeah. Our crew down there is the dogs, fielder, among the best Michael in all Cross. of sports. Innovative, creative, always adjusting on the fly. It's live TV. You have stuff thrown at you at the last second. And here's the tying run at the dish. Michael Krause with two on and one out. Swings and misses for strike one. Got to think Krause is due. I mean, 0 for 4 after a night like last night. You just got to think that. And he's got family in town, too. He does. Very vocal, very enthusiastic, and they enjoyed his performance last night. Home run, a single, and a triple about 16 hours ago. And there are the Krauses. Big old smiles. What's the name of the pitcher again? Michael Krause. Against Michael Krause. That's an astute observation. Everybody I learned from the best. Huh. Michael Krause pitching to Michael Krause. I don't think I've ever seen two more similar names in a pitching matchup, other than the World Series a couple years back when Will Smith hit a home run off of Will Smith. Those are pretty similar, and it's a 2-2. Seems like the dogs have been struggling a bit with breaking stuff today. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's a day game after a night game phenomenon or just one of those days. Maybe the visibility of a day game. I know some players prefer playing at night. Right, everyone's got their own thing. And here's strike three on a breaking pitch. So Krause wins the similar name battle, and there's two gone as we look again for the dog, at the strike. Right fielder, Danny Mars. Breaking. Yeah. And Michael Krause knew it. He was turning and walking away before the ump even began to make his call. It'll take a while before I get over the Michael Krause, Michael Krause thing. That's, that's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I hope these teams can face off in the championship series and it's like game seven, bottom of the ninth, and that's the matchup. I will say as Danny Mars steps to the plate that he's become one of my favorite newcomers simply because he's just such a gamer and seems like such a clutch performer. Why do you say that? Well, it just seems like whenever they need a hit, he's there. He's just very, very reliable. Well, let's see. Two on, two out. And ball one. You're talking about his clutchness, and he's been tremendous this weekend. Two hits and an RBI today. He had a bases clearing double yesterday. The bases clearing double as a thing feels to me underrated. I could agree more. It's three fourths as good as a grand slam, but it's not celebrated. Right. I don't even know if it's tracked as an official stat. Bases clearing double. There's a curveball for a strike. So you say Danny you like because he's clutch, he's a gamer, he comes up when you need him. Well, right now, he's the tying run. Butch Hobson and the crew depending on Mars. A chopper foul one and two. So if you're Krause, do you go breaking pitch here since that seemed to be the formula? I might. I'm not sure if Danny prefers one side, left or right. He started the game as a right-hand batter against the lefty starter from Cleburne. And it seems like with breaking pitches, the switch hitter might have a better read on it as opposed to just pure fastball. So let's see. Let's. One and two, two outs. 
and Mars calls time. We had the voice of the railroaders, Brad Allred, come up here and tell us that he thinks Danny Mars is railroader killer exhibit A, going back to his time with Kansas City. He's owned this franchise. And the one, two, spoiled foul. Look at this again. Looks like it stung him. Ooh. Ooh. Inside of the foot and then the face. Ah. Needs a moment. Home plate umpire Andrew Gerard doing him a favor. Danny looking cool as ever in the shades. So, yeah, I'm fine. He's taken some beatings. He got a bloody nose earlier in the season after crashing into the wall. Yeah, he doesn't make the highlight reel catches as often as Kraus or Greer, but he is still an exceptional defensive outfielder. One ball and two strikes. Two on. He swings and misses, and Krause's fired up. We go to the ninth, six to three. David Brief, Dad, love you. Fans, look at the Disney Award and keep your eyes.